Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at the system work plate and it will be the part three, which will be uh, the array area. And then also this will be for TrueCut already works. Otherwise, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, we're right back in the program here. Now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini series on the system work plate. And I'll also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now, with the next section, with a, um, uh, what do you, they call it, your line column setup. What this basically will do is it will be a quick way of making duplicates you can say of a selected shape without having to manually make duplicates of it or using the matrix copy oh sorry yeah the bottom so um, a nice thing is like I said you can use it on selected items and you can um, customize how many arrays you want so now if we look on the right here on the section we have a few different options so we've got num for numbers spacing one spacing two and this location we also have mirrors for horizontal vertical horizontal vertical now the reason why there's normally two of each um it is so that you can set the first column and then the second column separately but i will show you guys now then over here we kind of have you can say the origin point of where the rail will be happening from the moment you can see is the top left corner if you simply click this you can change bottom right bottom left and so forth virtual array this will kind of make you a display of what the array will look like it should we've got um beastu or beastriu i'm not sure what the full name for that is and then um, this will basically make quick works of it where you can fill your entire design area quickly with the array so if you didn't want to have custom arrays let's say you want to cut this out with different shapes on the inside then you will not be using that and then on the right here we've got nesting which is a bit more advanced version of the array and uh, we can also be uh, go actual array so once we've set up the way we like it we can click that and then it will turn it into an actual array so we can uh, customize it if we want to so if we want to make custom movements or rotations we can do that so uh, i'm not going to go into depth with uh, most of these i'm just going to show you a quick run through of these top ones and what they do obviously the mirror we um, will not see because we're working with a circle here or eclipse but the rest should be um you should be able to see it so first of all we've got the x and y numbers so let's make this about five and we'll make this one two and you'll see as you click on a new box it'll automatically update it now if for some reason you didn't see these shapes go to your config to your main menu and you say show arrays otherwise it'll just be little boxes then um, we've got spacing here which what this will do is uh let's make this 20 and then as i click here you can see it spaces every second line you can say so now we can use the spacing to the right also 20 if you want to make custom spacing you can always do that and then spacing for the uh, vertical as well obviously this one i don't have to set because if we add multiple rows then the next value becomes important and in desolation we can basically do like an offset um, of the rows so obviously i've added more rows i would play around with the next value otherwise yeah that is pretty much it it's rather simple you can set the origin points if you want your array to be the different corner you can also do that Otherwise, we head here to softwaretraining.co.za. You guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And also, you can isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the videos you're looking for, just go here, request a training video. Then we will make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.